right, in this presentation, we're going to talk about creating a table of contents in Google Slides. So for this example, I'm going to use a poetry presentation. So this is my title slide, poetry presentation, and my next slide is the table of contents. So I didn't make it look pretty or anything. I just want you to see how to create the table of contents. So these are the poems that we're going to be using, couplet, haiku, free verse, and sinquane. So I'm going to go to the next one, and this will be our couplet poem. So I'm going to get a layout, and I'm just going to say this is our couplet. Um, and the next one was haiku, so we're going to do the same and put in a haiku. I can't type today. Then the next one was our free verse. And the last one was our sinquane. All right, so we've got our poems. We're ready. We've created it. We've made it look really good. And now we want to create our table of contents. So the couplet you'll notice is on slide three. So what we're going to do is come to the table of contents. We're going to highlight the word couplet. We're going to right click. We're going to say link. And then we're simply going to type slide three. And there it is. We're going to click on it. And now our couplet is linked to slide three. Haiku is on slide four. We're going to highlight it, right click, and there it is, slide four. So I'm going to click on it. There it is. Free verse, right click link, slide five, sinquane, right click link, slide six. Now, you can change the color of these links. So you can come in here and say, no, I want it to be this blue. You can make it bold. You can make it italics. So you can make it look however you want. You can change the font to whatever you want. And there it is. So then when you put it in presentation mode and you click on, let's see if we can put it in right here. Here we go. And then when I click on couplet, it goes to the couplet page. And then we can go back, haiku, free verse. Oops, sorry, I clicked too fast. And same queen. Okay. Now, something else that you could do if they're on the couplet and they want to go back to the table of contents, you could create like a button. So get a shape, um, you could do like, let's do an arrow. You could do an arrow, stick it down here at the bottom. You can design that however you want that to look. You can fill it in, you can do lines, you can make the lines darker. Um, you can even put words in it. You could say next, right? And we could link this just like we just did. We could say um, right click link, and we could say the next slide, which is already there. Oh, that did the text. We don't want to do the text. We want to link the arrow. And there it is. So now when you click on the arrow, it will go to the next slide. You can also do that to take you back to the table of contents. So we want to insert a shape. We want to do an arrow, and this time we want an arrow going this way, right? And I won't, I won't uh, mess with the formatting of this one. I'll just say right click link, and we want this one to go to slide two, which is where our table of contents is. Click on it, and now that is linked to the table of contents. Okay, so if we do it in slideshow mode again, let me click there, it takes us to the table of contents, then we click on, I didn't do haiku, there, we go to next, takes us to the next one. So that is how to create a table of contents and link each of the words to the slide that it is on, and then also adding arrows or any kind of shape, words, whatever, to take you to the next slide or take you back to the table of contents. I hope this helps.